and that's the thesis. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's Caitlin, and today I'm doing a Q&A, so I previously asked um, on my Instagram story and on my Snapchat story uh, if you guys could ask some questions, and quite a few came through. So, the first one is uh, tips on time management. I just finished my sophomore year in college and I could I need the advice myself, but I would say to definitely plan out um, time to study and not just, oh, there's a quiz coming up, gotta go study for this, but make sure that you kind of definitely plan in advance when you're doing things and what exactly you're doing things for how long. A planner. Get a planner. Um, the next one is, what's your favorite color to paint with? And I feel very ironic saying this, but I like black. Or this antique gold metallic color that I have. It's very pretty. Um, the next one is, what is your favorite pastime? Watching YouTube, painting, annoying my friends on social media, the works. Um, the next question is, what is your favorite thing to do for self-care? Sleep? Is that an answer? Is that an answer? I think that's an answer. Sleeping or painting? or just spending time in my very dark room when I have the curtains closed, that's self-care. Um, what is the best meal you make? Tofu scramble? Definitely tofu scramble. It's featured in many of my videos. The next one is by my roommate in college. Um, she says, if you were a guy, what would you, what? No, if you were a guy, what name would you want? A guy I don't know I'm too much of a woman um I want to see David but I don't like the name Dave and that's the T <laughs> um if you could change your name what would it be I've already vowed to name my first daughter this Jordan Anastasia Jordan with Y N N just to be clear um, what's a song that's getting you through quarantine? I can tell you a band that's getting me through quarantine that would be the band Eminence. I M M I N E N C E. Eminence. What? I thought you said Eminems. <laughs> <laughs> Eminence, it's a rock band. Um, the next question is top three bucket list things. Oh, I feel so cliche saying this. Graduating college with my doctorate, getting married, and moving out of Florida. That's it. <laughs> um, what is your favorite part about school? Living by myself. If we're talking about like living on campus and not just like the education part in general. Living by myself is great because I feel like my own woman. But the, like if we're talking about like education itself, I like learning about pharmacy because I'm a nerd and I like medication. I don't like not doing drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. But I like learning about treatment options. So that would be another thing. Um, where do you want to live for the rest of your life? Not in Florida. Not in Florida. Um, somewhere up north where it snows. Um, what is the best part of studying pharmacy? Thanks, babe. Um, the education part of things because you're not necessarily a drug teacher and you're not a doctor who diagnoses things you can also like tell people how the drug works what the side effects are how it sh will interact with other medications that they're taking okay. but you get to give people the rundown of how their treatment works and the options that they have in case of a severe allergic reaction, you can give them something else, like more holistic medicine rather than pharmaceutical drugs, like not a prescription, but you can do like OTC stuff. Anyways, that would be my favorite part is just like letting people know what's up with drugs. The good kind. Um, now from my Snapchat questions, there's only a few of these, but um, someone asked, would you ever visit Texas? 
Yes, as long as there's no honky tonk stuff going on, I don't do country stuff. Another question, what would you do if you could do absolutely anything for a day? Take my friends to go to a bajillion theme parks within the area and just ride roller coasters, ride a bunch of rides, and drink too much coffee. I'd probably give myself an anxiety attack, but then I don't want to be part of it. But just coffee, friends, and roller coaster rides. Um, what's your favorite memory? Why would you ask what? Okay, I have favorite memories with different people, but I don't have any favorite memory. Um, the most recent favorite memory is going to an escape room with my family, Emily, and Josh. So we went to an escape room and we didn't make it out, that's for sure. We didn't know that there were three rooms. We just thought we were supposed to escape the one room. So, anyways. Um, that's one of my other favorite memories was just this past summer. Okay, so for Josh's birthday this summer, we went to Disney and went to like all these different places. So that just whole two weeks was golden. Um, with my roommate for spring break uh, early of, like earlier this year in March, we went to, well, I went to Michigan for the first time where she lives and we went ice skating with her brother and her brother's best friend and I fell down a good few times and then the second time that we went because we went like the next day I actually went and was doing pretty good um, and then the last question is who are your best friends? first best friend is my high school long best friend Emily who is my camera woman <laughs> <laughs> and then my other best friend is Josh because I get to kiss his face. That's why. Anyways. And then my, uh, my third best friend is Autumn, my roommate. Because she lets me be weird and we have very, very personal talks. <laughs> and I love her. But yeah, that is all of my questions. <laughs> I feel very psychotic. It's fine. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment down below uh, any other videos that you would like to see. Uh, definitely subscribe, hit the bell, because I don't post often, or upload often, but when I do, you need to know. So, definitely hit the bell, and subscribe, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.